Hello, my darlings. Happy Monday to you all. And welcome to another part of Design Me Devon. Today, we are going to be cracking on with a very rundown bungalow um, that caught my eye. And it was from one of my lovely friends in the community as well. I'll, I'll go through that in just a second as well. Also, thank you so much, guys, for understanding that I couldn't get a video out on Friday. As you probably saw in the community tab, Blue had to have an operation on his eye. Poorly, poorly Blue. Uh, so I wanted to spend the day with him and look after him as much as possible over the weekend. So that is why he's doing fine now. He's got his checkup today at the vets just to see that everything went okay with the operation and stuff. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for understanding for me not getting a video out on Friday and no stream either. But today, my loves, a new video is here. I'm in a festive red sweater because I'm freezing my nips off. How cold is it today? It is four degrees Celsius where I am today, um, which means I won't be going outside. I've had the heating on <laughs> like all day. I spent the weekend watching so many Christmas films as well. So why I'm in this festive fucking mood, it's unbelievable. It really is very aggressive then, but um, just had to do that. Anyway, this week we're going to be doing some more. We're going to be finishing off Let's Build the World Strangerville with the last build of that series as well. Um, we're going to be doing a cut. I'm really into designing your guys lots at the minute. So that might be the majority of builds this week, or at least a couple. Um, I'm loving doing this. I'm at, And when I'm like inspired to do something, I just want to go full power and keep doing it. So keep adding to that hashtag. It is design me Devon. <laughs> There's my shit editing skills for you there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's have a look at the get. Let's have a look on the gallery and I'll show you the build that we picked today. And here she is, my loves. It is the broken down bungalow. I just thought that was such a cute build. And then I looked and I was like, this is by Irrelevant Sims or Irrelevant 7 on the Sims 4 gallery. Irrelevant Sims is probably, well, it was one of my first ever friends I made in the Sims 4 community. She's such a great builder. She's such a lovely human and I absolutely adore her. So that is why we're doing this today as well. I just love this. Um, and they say, built in the 1900s and lightly renovated in the early 70s, this bungalow in Willow Creek once belonged to an elderly couple, but it was abandoned and fell into disarray. However, a newlywed couple with a baby on the way fell in love with the house and could see its potential. Overwhelmed with the renovation and the small budget of 30,000 simoleons, they have, uh, they have called Design Me Devon to help make their dreams come, tr come true. So make sure you go and download this lovely build from the gallery. Quite a few of you have already, 1311, and it is by Irrelevant Sims. Uh, I will also link her YouTube down below as well. She's incredible, one of my favourites. So let's have a little look around the build, shall we? And here she is, my darling. So I love her. Look at all the lovely details in the front, all the broken down bits, bits of mail and whatnot. I'm absolutely for that. Um... I d because there's a family on the way, I had a little look inside and I'm thinking about extending the top out a little bit. Hopefully we can do that with the budget of 30,000 30, Smolens. We should be okay. Um, I'm going to change the roof line as well a little bit in places. Just make it look a little bit different, but still fresh. It probably take away the bungalow kind of look to this, the things that I want to do. But I love this. Look at all these little, like, look at this. Oh, I love all of that. I love doing these like dilapidated builds. They're my favorite. So above, we go into above. So the roof line is poking in here, but I, I hate when it does that. And I know why it's doing that because of this staircase and it's a bastard. I can tell. So this is not a lot of space to make a family home. So I definitely feel we need to extend the top out a little bit. Maybe two bedrooms, two bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. Maybe one of them being an ensuite. I'm feeling. Um... And then we'll go down into the interior down below as well. So they've got this like little hallway in here. They've got this big closet. That would probably be a good place to put a toilet actually. So I might put the toilet in there. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. I'm thinking about moving the kitchen. I'm thinking about moving the kitchen over here. Getting rid of this as well. I love all of these like in coves and stuff in here. It just... It makes me feel like I'm doing a proper renovation project. And I fucking love that kind of shit. I really do. So I'm thinking about moving to the kitchen over into this area um, and then maybe having the dining room here 
and then having this as the living area, keeping the living area here. But look at all of this detail. It does feel 70s. I've got, it's got a real 70s vibe in here. I love this tile. I need to remember to use this tile more because I always forget about it. And I think it's because it comes in the blue swatches and I never go for these because they're just not mine. But this swatch here is, I love it. I absolutely love this. Um, but yeah, not massive space for a garden per se. So instead of a garden, I might do like a little decked veranda area out here and just have some nice hedges around this lot, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. And obviously it needs to be two bedrooms. She's got a baby on the way. So I'll probably do, I will do a two bedroom. And I think I'll make one into a child's bedroom, a toddler's room, and but still put the bassinet in it. So when you do download the slot, it's ready for a kid. It's ready for a kid as well. Such a weird shaped bathroom. <laughs> so funny. Oh, where's this door go? Oh, out there. Out to the window. Out to the window. Let me have a little look at that. Oh, are oh, the toilets there? That's why. Okay. Okay. I get you. I get you, Atri. I get you. But yeah, I think we will do that today. I'm really, really looking forward to making this look a little bit fresh. I don't know if I want to step away from... um kind of this siding. I think I want to keep this siding. But in my head, I had it in my head that the um, the couple that are moving into this place are really into kind of Victorian architecture. So I may go kind of slightly modern Victorian on the interior. Yeah, I think we might do that. I think we might do that. So yes, that is the house. If you, As I said, if you do want to go and download it, Broken Down Bungalow is on the Design Me Devon hashtag. And it's also done by Irrelevant7 on the gallery. If you guys want to have a little bash and renovate this one too. Uh, but yeah, I think without further ado, we'll flop on over to a speed build form now and we'll start doing this build. And here we are, my loves. As always, we're go going to be starting off by getting rid of everything. There were so many details on this lot. All of us, I'm still finding cracks and crevices as the actual speed build went on. Um, <laughs> I Honestly, I'd painted everything. I was like, what's that? Oh, that's the crack. So I needed to, um, yeah get rid of all of that as well but I've actually moved this into Willow Creek as well we've gone on to the 20 by 15 lot in Willow Creek and I just prefer it on this lot I think it's pretty and I think this house will suit this lot a little bit better as well it starts to go a little bit pixelated this video for some reason I don't know why it just started to it rendered weirdly for some reason I have no idea why no idea but oh this is me trying to get rid of those bloody stains as well again I always struggle to get rid of those stains those like oil stains that came with Strangerville I end up deleting floors and whatnot, but I was just like, oh, let's just crack on with this. So, yes, I'm very much excited for you guys to see this. I like how it came out. We did go for a Victorian look in the end, kind of semi-Victorian on the interior, um, but with a modern kind of fresh vibe. And this is where I'm extending the upstairs. I was like, yeah, do you know what? We're going to extend the actual house. And it wasn't too bad, actually. I had a 30,000 simoleon limit. And by the time I deleted everything, I was over. You can see I've got a 38,000 simoleon limit. And I think the amount of money that I had left at the end of it was like 4,000 simoleons. So they've still got enough simoleons there to kind of look after a kid, which um, they're going to be having because one of them is pregnant who's moving into this place. Well, they're not both. Well, they could be both pregnant, but they're not. It's just one. Um, and I was like, oh, here, let's extend the front out a little bit just to make this build look a little bit more attractive as well. And then I kind of shuffled the roof line over that area. And I just like it. So it's gone past the point of a bungalow and into a kind of a small family home, which I much prefer, much prefer. Decided to go for a green siding as well. Ignore the brick I'm using at the minute. I was like, oh, dark gray brick. And I looked at it and I was just like, no, no, definitely not. So we go back to that lighter gray blick, blick that lighter gray blick. But then we still choose the kind of green siding as well. And... I really like it. And again, with this build, I used the snowy escape windows because they just suited it. I loved them. And I'm really enjoying using those windows at the minute. I really am. Um, so we did it with this place as well. Now, this is where I was like, right, yep. We did end up going for a kind of decked area out the back. And I loved it. Loved it. It's not big enough to have kind of a garden, really. So that kind of made sense. But they've still got this little like courtyard area that I did too where I put some skill building objects and I I like what, what can I say I loved it loved it wanted to um lighten everything up to, for the front as well so I make sure all the windows are white um 
brand new pathway going up to it as well. New foundation that I did struggle a little bit choosing one, but we end up going for this one here because it just fit in quite nicely, I thought. Um, and just freshening everything up. I still use those base game windows. I use them on the downstairs. And then I use the um, snowy escape ones above. And I just like mixing the windows together sometimes. I just think it... I don't know. It makes... I've never... I never used to like doing that. I used to hate it. I used to hate mixing windows. But lately, I've been really enjoying it. And I think these two windows types go together quite nicely. Um... And um, as I always, I'm loving using the Snowy Escape ones. Loving using them. I really am. So this is where I was like, right, we're going to get into the interior now. So I close in the porch area. Um, and we do end up using the toilet where that old closet would have been. Um, and it's just nice. It's just nice. And I really, I revamp all of the uh, upstairs as well. And you can see in the corner, I'm on 41,000 simoleons. So by doing this, I kind of saved money, which is just so weird. But it helped me. It helped me out. And I like the floor plan of it upstairs as well. It's a little tight, but I still think that it, um, once again, struggling with that bastard stain. Um, I still think it flows really nicely. Um, considering, and it's got a big master bedroom as well, which is really nice. And it's a bit of a weird shape, the master bedroom. But I think I kind of made it work with once I put all of the furniture and stuff in there. And I'm very much for it. I like starting off with a blank um canvas as well and in the beginning i was going to be keeping those tiles that i was talking about earlier in the hallway but in the end i was just like no let's get rid of them and this is me going around now and putting in all of the snowy escape windows into the places where i want them to be i love them in with this fresh white on it i'm just i'm just for that at the minute i'm really am for that and i, I can't wait to do some more builds with you guys i really really can't because this is my favorite series at the minute that i'm doing <laughs> i've only done two and i'm like i love it so um, yeah, very much looking forward to doing some more. Very much looking forward to doing some more. And this is me just going around. I've got the floor plan in now. So it's going around and putting the windows where I need them to be. In the beginning, I was using this door here. And I was just like, it just looks too small. It's a medium height wall. So I end up going for the Moschino one. I think it just blends with the windows nicely. And it's a slidey door, which then allows you to have more room inside. For some reason as well, I don't know why these pillars were sitting like that on the corners there. They were sitting like that, so I ended up not using them at all. And this is where I go around and change the whole build to a lighter grey. I was like, that's much better. <laughs> that's much better brick. Much better. And I don't, I don't know. I just think it looked a lot fresher. A lot fresher and a lot newer. And yeah, I like it. I do like it. And funnily enough, it weirdly kind of fits into this street as well. This is Willow Creek. Um, the kind of... I think it's the street where the Bargain Bend house is on. I can't remember. But um, I end up going for that um, kind of vibe with the street. And I think it blends in rather nice. I really do. And as I said, I wanted kind of a Victorian-esque build on the inside. Very light interiors as well. Everything's very light and bright in here. Um, and I, I'm just liking that at the minute. I'm liking light interiors at the minute. So once I'm in that mood, I'll do it. I will do some darker aesthetics, don't get me wrong. And I will do some other kind of like architectural styles soon as well, which I'm looking forward to. But that's what I wanted to go. And I was like, do you know what? I never used that white picket fence, but I thought it fit this build nicely. And what I end up doing is just fencing in the front of the build there um, and using debug hedges around the back. Quite high hedges as well. So again, acts as a bit of privacy, but they're free. They're free so you can place them as many as you like and I'm all for free things. I really am. And I was like, they're still, the Sims are still going to walk through there. So I end up using the kind of hazard tape from Get Famous and it stops your Sim from walking through those um, hedges as well, which I like. Just a little bit of light landscaping. I love kind of violet tones with green. So I wanted to use some violet bushes and whatnot out the front. And because of the green siding as well, I just thought it looked really nice. And I, I just love it just love it so i hope you do too i really do i hope you had a lovely weekend mine was a bit meh <laughs> i was looking after a poorly dog and i was worried all weekend so i had like anxiety knots in my stomach for the whole weekend but um he pulled through dogs are very resilient dogs are very strong creatures um but it doesn't stop you from worrying about them you know when you love them so much when they when they're your baby it doesn't stop you from worrying about them so I'm just glad to be um, back recording and I'm 
fingers crossed he's now at the vets tom's took him to the vets fingers crossed that everything's going to be okay <laughs> i'm sure it will be and i'll let you guys know in tomorrow's video or something as well so yes look at me look at us though those fences weren't that expensive either so that's why i used them at the back um and i was like oh we still need some trees and these trees are free as well so i went to town on them in the beginning i used them big ones and i was just like they look a little bit too swamp the swamping how big this like house is so i end up just shrinking them down and framing the building nicely and i just loved it i really did really really enjoyed doing this lot figuring out the floor plan was probably one of my favorite things to do in this house and i just think it flows very nice as well and it was also fun to play around with kind of a victorian-esque or a nod to victorian uh kind of furniture on the interiors even though this isn't a victorian house so i still wanted to i don't know make it look homely shall we say and I, don't, I i like the interior i like the colors that we used on the inside and i love those yellow tiles that we used there as well in the hallway and they go right into the kitchen as well so in my eyes they kind of had that all done and we're for it so living area living area and this whole house really i wanted to have this house have a nice soft greeny tone to it as well so i think the university sofas in here at look really nice and those curtains from eco lifestyle they're so cheap so you can use them all around the house and they're not expensive at all i just wish they came in some better swatches there's only a few swatches that i like in them um if, if, i wonder if the, um, there must be some recolors out there oh i'm gonna find some recolors for them for some custom content that would be nice so not a massive sitting room not a massive like li living room at all but i didn't really want this living room to be huge this is their kind of not, I wouldn't say forever home because I would imagine they would maybe want a few more kids one day. So it's a home that they're going to start their life off in and earn some money on it because this house has been completely renovated. It will be a lot more attractive to people on the market at the minute, you know. <laughs> I'm speaking like I actually know what I'm talking about, but I like thinking that way when I'm building in The Sims because when real realism comes into play when you're building, you find you do things differently. And I very much like that. The very the renovation project that this would have probably cost, like not like in in real life, I mean, um, would have been a lot more than thirty thousand smolians. <laughs> That's sure. That is for sure. I reckon this would have been at least a hundred k job with the amount of like walls I had to knock down and plumbing you would have had to have moved and you know you know how it goes. Um, I really wish I didn't put the flooring like that oh damn look at the flooring it's facing differently in the dining room compared to the living room i don't like that i might change that actually before i do the video tour at the end anyway into the dining room so again i wanted a nod to victorian so i wanted the furniture to be kind of traditional looking farmhouse table those gorgeous chairs but still have a light bright modern looking feel to it and i like it i do i maybe would have preferred if we could have had a bit less white but i still liked the actual brightness of this place and it's a blank palette so if you guys ever do want to download this you can make it your own and kind of get thinking on it i was trying to bring a bit of that yellow tone into the the dining room area because as i was saying it was, it was quite light and bright so i end up using that um i always forget that rugs from i think it's from vampires it's the kind of like hallway rug that you can put down in pieces i sized it up and just put that under the table and then i end up bringing a little bit more greenery into this place with some furniture some plants and some pictures and love it love the i don't know what my favorite room room is maybe either the living room or the kitchen i do like the kitchen we go for a kind of shaker style kitchen cabinet um and we go a bit darker in the kitchen as well, which is nice, but still fresh, bright white and semi-Victorian, which I like. I do. I like it. There's been so many like mansions on the gallery as well. What have I got in my pocket? Oh, <laughs> I'm not even going to say what that is. It, I'm just going to say it. it is a um, foil casing from a mince pie. <laughs> it's Christmas. What can I say? I love mince pies. Mince pies, by the way, guys, is like fruit, spiced fruit in like a short crust pastry. Americans and, uh, don't usually have mince pies, I don't think. 
because they're always like, what's I remember two of my American friends were like, what's a mince pie? And I, was, I had to explain to them and I thought they always thought it was meat. I think back in the Victorian times, they used to actually put meat in there. But um, why am I talking about mince pies? Let's move on to the kitchen. <laughs> this is the kitchen. So I love the windows in this kitchen and I love having a dark black kind of like tech top like countertop especially with the tiles and stuff and i just like the layout of it i like the layout yeah the fridge is probably a little bit too far away from everything but it's in a triangle the sink the cooker and the fridge and it's not so far for your sims to walk and if they are, if they are complaining about it then they are lazy shits and we're gonna leave it at that but um love that yellow tile love that yellow tile really wish that vampire tile came in most watches again I think it comes in like four swatches, blue, red, bleh, yellow, and something else. But I really wish it came in some more swatches. I know that Harry did a um, CC version of it in smaller details and in different colors as well. So if you do want to go and download that from Harry, she has got that on her Tumblr or on House of Heart. No, on her Tumblr, I think. Um, but yeah, and with the toilets as well. I had fun with the toilets. I know bathrooms and toilets I actually had fun and I kept two of them in today which you see me furnishing because I wanted again that kind of nod to Victorian um I end up using the kind of same that pedestal sink which is really cheap the sink the toilet from realm of magic as well and I just thought it fit the vibe I really did and I like how that looks I really do master bedroom here we are base game bed and um side tables that i did size town because you know um again wanted to keep this light aesthetic up on here but i wanted to make this place look a little bit more homely i was like oh this would be a perfect place for an ottoman at the bottom of the bed i could just tell by looking through all of them that none of them would really match in and the only ones that would would be the more expensive ones and i was trying to keep an eye on the budget and stuff we're down to seventeen thousand simoleons at the minute um so I was just like, nope, we need to really, really look after the budget. In the, I wanted a kind of his and hers or his and his or hers and hers um, or a them and theirs um, dresser. But it was a quite an odd, as I said, the room was an odd layout. So I put them in this orientation, not really keen on it, but that was the best that we had to kind of make up with. And again, I wanted to go for that kind of classic looking Victorian-esque style. So I end up using those ones from Cats and Dogs. I think they're from Cats and Dogs. Um, and they look nice. But then I wanted to hit it with a bit more of contemporary art and stuff in here as well, just to give it a bit more of a fresh modern feel. We've got like a modern light fixture. I end up darkening things down a little bit as well. Let's pop a bit more black and stuff into here. And I was like, this side needs a bit of black now. So I used the um, wall lamps. I'm struggling to find them at the minute, but they're right there. Um, and I sized them down and put them one above each kind of like bed table. And that just helped bring a bit more of that black over to that side. So there's quite a mixture of colors in here. And I was like, can we get a black rug down in here? I go through a few and I'm just like, nah, it's not fitting the vibe. Even the gray one looks weird. And I was just like, nope, that's not for me. So I end up um, using the fluffy rugs in, I think I use them just in a white. And yeah, we go for that. And I love it. I do. I love it. Absolutely love it. Definitely want to crack on and do another one for this week. So be on the lookouts for that, my loves, because I just have so much fun. So much fun renovating other people's builds. I just, I've just got a real taste for it at the minute as well. Um, I will mention this somewhere else as well, but I'm going to mention it to you guys too. I said I was going to be doing a shell challenge for Christmas. I'm think I'm going to leave the shell challenge for January, just so it's something to get us through that after Christmas lull. There's so many shell challenges around at the minute as well um, that I thought, do you know what? Now's not the time for me to do a shell challenge. I'm going to be so busy with Christmas content and stuff. And I am going to be having a break over Christmas as well. Um, I'm going to be stopping on Christmas Eve and then coming back after the new year. I hope you guys don't mind, but I really do um, fancy some time off after this horrible, horrible um, year that 2020 was. So... I'm thinking about bringing the Shell Challenge in January instead. And then that will give us something to do and look forward to after Christmas. I hope you don't mind. Um, I'll put a post up somewhere about it. But um, I just thought that was a better way about going, um, doing things. 
But yes, anyway, look at us. Look, we're right into the children's bedroom now. So I wanted a light, white, bright bedroom. And then I was just like, it's looking very, very light, Aiden. And I was trying to soften it down with some greys, which I love. I love this. I even tried to like darken the bed down and stuff as well. And I was just like, no, I don't like it. I like it bright and white. So it's got a bassinet, but it's also got a toddler bed. My thoughts were, you're probably going to age up the toddler quite soon. <laughs> if you do have a, like a young family moving into the slot. So that's why I did that. Um, and then I was like, this is what inspired me. I was like, oh, a dark. What about a dark brown there? And I could bring the brown. And I was like, nope, don't like it. <laughs> Not happening, so I end up getting rid of that idea instead. And I just really like this bedroom. I think it's very soft and pretty. Very, very nice. Would have been nice if this was connected to the master suite, but it's not. Um, and I was like, oh, we've got a toddler coming, so let's put some toddler potties around. I did do a high chair, as you saw at the dining table as well. So it is kind of ready for a young family to move in. Um, but I think as the kid ages, or if they have another kid, they'd probably want to have a garden. Um... Or maybe not. Not everyone's lucky enough to have a garden. But in my head, that's what I was thinking. So I was just like, it's not going to be their kind of forever home. It's kind of a start off home for them to earn some money with, um, especially when they go to sell it. And it's a lot more expensive than it was before they bought it. You know, I just love thinking this way. These realistic ways of thinking I do. Big hallway as well. Could have made another room, really. But I didn't. I just had this nice wide open hallway and it kind of opened the upstairs out nicely with all of these windows and stuff because this area was really cramped before I kind of worked with the floor plan. Um, so yeah, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. I'm very much for it and I'm here for it. That's all we can say on it. And I think the last bit in a minute, I we go and do the kind of decking area. We go and do the decking and just, I put like a little a couple of nice sofas out there and a nice table as well, just so they've got space outside too. Anyway, my loves, I'm going to leave you now. You're going to flop on over into the video tour. I'm going to be back tomorrow. It may be with another part of this. It may be a let's build new, um, a let's build new crest. Let's build the world part, but who can say? I'll see you then.